Greetings, I'm State Representative Bill Hinkle from the 13th Legislative District and thank you for joining me from our state capital here in Olympia. Love the Italian marble, marble behind me here. Now only a few weeks remain in the legislative session and some very important decisions need to be made. Among these critical decisions is passing the state operating budget. The House Democrats who were designated to release the first budget this year finally unveiled their plan yesterday and after a few weeks of delays their plan has been met with a lot of skepticism, especially with their cuts to education, overuse of fund transfers, and overall sustainability. As a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, the primary budget committee, I'm in the eye of the budget storm, as it were. I can tell you that decisions are difficult and sometimes emotional, but I can also tell you that they are necessary and no more difficult than the decisions that families have to make in these tough times. I'm part of the House Republican team that has been putting forward budget solutions and alternatives since the end of last year. And we've tried to work with the House Democrats every step of the way, um, but it became clear that we were in stark differences in our approaches. As the final operating budget is determined, I'm guided by a set of important principles that I believe will lead our state to a responsible and sustainable budget. And I will not vote for a budget that deviates from these principles. Now first, our state has to prioritize. In good economic times, state spending grew by more than 30% in a four-year period. State government can't be all things to all people. We have to, again, utilize the priorities of government model. And our state's top priorities must be education, public safety, and the protection of our most vulnerable citizens. Second, our state should not use one-time monies and creative accounting to pay for ongoing programs. Budget writers have to use this approach. The last few years, it's failed to just rely on one-time monies from the feds. It must stop. Now, third, we have to take a look at every program and service of state government and find efficiencies. And where we reduce the amount of funding we give the state agencies, we need to give them the authority and flexibility to find these savings. And fourth, I will not support any new tax increases, period. If our state wants to increase revenue, it should find ways to increase economic activity. I have supported several measures that would strengthen our economy, and many continue to be held up in the legislative process. And my final principle is this. I'll only support a budget that is fiscally responsible and sustainable over time. This includes leaving a healthy fund balance that will prepare our state for other economic downturns that may come or emergencies. The bottom line is we must get Washington working again. This starts with our state budget. Now things are going to be interesting here in Olympia from now on till the end of session. And I think we're going to end on April 23rd, the day before Easter. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get out on Good Friday. I encourage you to stay tuned. Let your voice be heard and contact me if you have any questions or concerns. In closing, it continues to be an honor to represent the great people of the 13th Legislative District. Hi back home to the kids and uh, mama. I'm State Representative Bill Hinkle. Take care now. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.